Hey everybody, it's Alan and Simon here on the Breaking Point. Yeah, do it. We're gonna, do it, now. We're gonna do it live. <laughs> we're, today we're reviewing the Blu-ray for the limited edition, two disc special edition of Transformers: To Revenge of the Fallen. Um, this movie was like really good. I mean, uh, it's a follow-up of uh, 2007's Transformers, which uh, were Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox are these two teenagers who uh, get pitted in this alien and robot war for a spark called the All Spark, which is this box that controls life on um, the Transformers oh, planet. Man. Yeah, and it got destroyed because it's due to Megatron's fault. Oh. Now, in this movie, uh, this bad guy called the Fallen wants revenge for, you know, all the Decepticons that were killed. Not knowing that more Autobots died than Decepticons, but he's being a little bitch about it because <laughs> what happened in the past. Well, technically, they need to get Energon so the hatchlings can survive. So they want to activate the machine. He's a bitch about it. And activate the machine, destroy all civilization, just so he can feed his kids, ultimately. Yeah, he's like a mom and I'm a... In the I got no boobs! Yeah, I, I, have, boobs. I have no breasts when you come up. <laughs> so behind him, he's my baby! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what happens <laughs> in the sum of the movie that I'm joking. Oh, yeah. Alright, um, so we see, uh... Shia LaBeouf again, playing the role of Sam McWicky, and um, Megan Fox playing uh, Michaela again. Delicious. What? She is quite delicious. Yes. She's quite scrumptious, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, Peter Cullen comes back as the voice of uh, Optimus Prime, of course. And uh, Tyrese Gibson is in it. And gosh. Man, Tyrese is bad, you know? Doing how? <laughs> Either, either way, I mean, Optimus Prime, uh, in this movie, uh, opens up the movie saying that, uh, uh we, we have been at war with, uh, I mean, no, 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 no that's the first one. The hunting, the killing, killing Decepticons. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been doing this for years, and now they teamed up with, the government knows about it, so the government has their own dedicated... Yeah, it's called, uh, the Nest Team. Yeah. And, uh, they're going into Shanghai, looking for this huge Decepticon, which is a pretty cool scene, I mean. It's like these two big wheels with a Decepticon body and kept going on the highway and then they dropped off the prime from this airplane and he like does this whole little spinning thing and transforms. You know what reminds me of when I was watching it, which is totally, totally unrelated? You ever used to watch DuckTales? And uh, they had a... The one on Disney Channel? Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, uh, what is it? It's the Scrooge Tech character at the, the Bell House of... Yeah. You know that he had that nephew, oh uh, not nephew, a friend or whatever that had uh, the Robo Duck suit? Mm -hmm. And they had the one wheel. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of when I was watching that. <laughs> Robo Duck. <laughs> well, I was thinking more of, you know, just, wow, this is really big. How if you remember that, how thank you. Like, I'm not alone. <laughs> <laughs> how are the Autobots going to, you know, beat this big thing? Optimus Prime doesn't like that. I mean, Single handedly. He just jumps on and pull over. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Optimus Prime. Is, there's a reason I grew up loving Optimus Prime. I don't know. I didn't know why until, like, officially. He was like this violent in the cartoon. I just still love them though. But this new Optimus Prime is very. Uh, and then there's this whole like, okay, we're gonna keep going with the story. Right, yeah. But um, you know, then the robot says, "No, the fallen is coming back," and blah blah blah. Then the government gets involved, saying that you know, As always, you gotta get out of here because you know, something's the planet. Mm. Yeah. So I mean, then Sam goes to college, and unknowingly, uh, he still has a all spark shard. Which uh, actually tell me appliances in the house that's acting, which is pretty funny, that scene. Um, but we're gonna fast forward into to the very middle scene where Optimus Prime, yes, he does die in this movie, but don't fret, Transformer fans, because he comes back. Uh, he gets, he fights um, Starscream, Megatron, and Blackout. Yes, Blackout is back. Everybody from the the helicopter, yeah. I wiped out the whole base and. I guess, I guess they fixed them or something because, you know, and there's a lot of uh, Decepticons that make, uh, like, you know, repeats in this movie. Um, Not that many Autobots. They don't really explain them in any of the... The new ones, yeah. I mean, oh, no, they came with the new ones, but the old guys, like, uh, Ratchet. Yeah, uh, like, they were, they had, the only one that really got a lot of screen time was Ironhide. Because he was in the beginning, and then he was in the middle, and he was at the end, so, well, I mean... you know, Bumblebee, too. Right? Well, Bumblebee, you know, he's a, he's a fan favorite now, so... He's, no, he's awesome. He's a guy here. Well, I'm still gonna go back to this prime. But, um. Bless you. 
Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, there's this huge fight scene, which is so cool. When you especially see when you see it on Blu-ray, it's true. it is so freaking clear. The sound is amazing. The background looks so vivid. The colors are so luscious. It's it looks so it looks so good. It just looks so right. Um, they're fighting in the forest, and uh, Optimus Prime does die. But um, you know they find a way to bring him. Oh, back. he kills uh, the black guy. Yeah, he, he rips his. Fi- oh my God! You have to see them blue rays. You he have two to. hooks. In. He's two little hooks that come out of his hand where his swords are at, and he just rips his face off. It's just so priceless. I mean, like if they're organic, I'm sure this would be like. This would, and there was the blood coming out. It was like this little like lava stuff. Yeah, well, whatever they have for blood is. It was just it was just such a cool scene. I mean, cutting off arms and legs. If you and can go out and buy it. On uh, two disc special editions. Um, How did you feel about the twins? I'm just curious. The twins? Did you find it racist? I did not at all. I don't know what everyone's like, you know, there's just two characters, that's it. They're they so funny. funny. Well, oh my so god, I killed my brother. You know, uh, the, little brother nip, the little nifty stuff that comes out uh, in the Transformers. Uh, this is the, the actual movie here, and uh, this is the special features. There's no digital copy, which, Legal is, copies. which is the downside. Um, no digital. And there's no digital copy. I, I, oh, you, you're all down to the digital all of a sudden? Hmm? You, you, you're super down to the digital? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just you know, it's so convenient. convenient. To, yeah, it's convenient to have. You can start on your iPod when you want to work or on the train or on the bus or you're driving, you know, and you want to pull over and you want to watch a movie. I have all this time. <coughs> well, I'm sorry if I don't have a real job, okay? Don't, don't have a job, it sucks. Anyway, uh, it, brings <laughs> us, it brings us a little coupon thing. Uh, I think it. Yeah, oh, it expires in 2010. Um, it brings a little visual Optimus Prime onto your computer. I kind of have one, but it's like a virtual pub. But this one is really cool because it's like 3D, and you can spin him around. You know what I'm saying? Look at his weapons and stuff. And it comes with this little uh, Chevy book for oh. General Motors because you know a lot of the cars from the movie are Chevys, and it tells you all the cars yeah, in the movie, sure. and you can actually buy these cars. From uh, this little guide here, and it tells you, uh, you know, the MPG and all the good stuff that you need to know about the cars. Um, it comes in a special little case with Bumblebee on the, the cover, and on the back is some screenshots of, you know, the fight scenes and stuff. And, um, it, you know, it has just a little upside. Um, so would I say go for the Blu ray or go for the DVD? Um, if Totally for the fight scenes, audio, and just, you know, if you own a PS3 or a Blu-ray, totally go out and get it. Don't get the Blu- uh, DVD. Go out and get the Blu-ray. I mean, yeah, if you have a Blu-ray player via computer or PS3. I have, I have it on, I have a PS3, I have a laptop that does it, I have a Bloody no. Every room in this house is blur anyway. That's, so. someone would, that's just something someone would be saying if they're watching this. Well, I'm, then, just, I'm then, just doing what the people would be thinking. Well, then if you don't have the blur, you can go out and get the DVD, which is equally as good because if you have a high def you. TV, you can go out and get one. I don't want people feeling underprivileged by watching a program well, like that. Oh, blur, I'm not well, blue. well, still, you can go out and get the DVD copy, it's just as good. But um, for people who do have Blu-ray, this is an uh, upside. This should be in your collection. Totally go out and get uh, yeah, Transformers. You have the high-def TV to handle it, too. That's well, important. it doesn't matter. Just, it's just a good movie. Go out and get this, and get Transformers 1. For the breaking point, this is Alan. I'm Simon. And we'll see you guys later. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha!